Steve Huff at stevehuffphoto.com. I'm here today with a new Leica special edition set right here. This is the Leica MP Safari set. So basically what we have here is a limited edition, a limited edition run of a Leica MP240. So this is the same as the MP240 in black or silver, except it's a limited run in the safari color which is as you know uh, like an olive green like an army color uh, Leica has been releasing safari sets for many years even some of the old R series DSLRs uh, were done in a safari set but they go all the way back to early M's uh, the M8 had a safari set the M8.2 which came with a silver 28 Elmeret uh, the M9 did not have a Safari set. It had various special editions, but now with the MP240 we have a Safari set and it's a great set for many reasons. Uh, basically, one of the reasons is if you buy this Safari set, you're getting the Leica MP camera, you're getting a 35 Summicron lens in silver with a retro metal hood and a metal cap. You're getting a Leica branded leather strap. You're getting an SD card wallet that's in here and all the goodies and you're paying about 2000 less than if you bought a black or silver one with a standard black 35 Summicron lens. You're paying less uh, and getting more. So this is the only limited edition I know of in Leica history that will cost you less than buying the standard edition. But not everybody likes the olive color. Me, I think it's pretty cool, actually. And I have Angelo Pelli, I think that's how you say his last name, P-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, making a custom half case for this in camouflage with a green suede interior, as well as a carrying bag in camouflage that will hold this with the lens and one other lens in a pocket. So it'll be a cool safari kit. But uh, I've always been interested and intrigued by the safari kit just because they're different. When you walk around, how often do you see somebody with an olive green camera? And a lot of people remember back in the day when Leica released uh, their safari sets. So this is just another in the long line of Leica Special Editions, except this one will... Uh, set you back 2000 or so less than buying standard black or silver. So it's a great set. And this is one of the limited edition sets that's doing pretty well for Leica. I know they're, uh, they still have some of those M60s left hanging around. They made 600 of them, the one without the rear LCD. And Ken Hansen has one left in stock. And if you email him and tell him I sent you, he might even give you a nice price. So Ken Hansen, uh, you can find out his details on my website at stefafoto.com. Um, but other than taking a look at this Safari Special Edition today, I wanted to also take a look. And it comes in this nice presentation case so you can see right there. I also wanted to take a look at the new Sumerit line of lenses because Ken Hansen just sent me the 35, the 50, the 75, and the 90 Sumerits in silver. We're gonna take a look at them right now. Okay, the first lens in the Sumerit line. This is the brand new Leica Sumerit 50 f2.4. Now the old Sumerit line of lenses uh, were f2.5 lenses. They did not come with the metal hood like you see here. Uh, this Sumerit lens, the 50, comes with a metal screw-on hood, which is very nice. You don't have to pay extra for it. Though they did raise the price of the Sumerit line of lenses. Uh, these lenses now are going to set you back around $2,200, I believe, or $1,900 to $2,200. Uh, this is a 50 millimeter, and after running some quick test shots with it, what I saw was it appeared to have a little bit of a... Sumicron rendering mixed with a more classic rendering, which was interesting. Um, it was giving uh, me some interesting uh, bokeh and blurred backgrounds um, 
which is desirable. I remember the old Sumer lenses, the 35 in particular, gave a mix of modern and classic. And that's what I feel this 50 Sumer is doing. It's actually very pleasing. And if I were to buy a brand new 50 today, this would be under heavy consideration because it's the cheapest like a 50 you can get new. It's beautiful in design, as you can see. You get the metal hood for free, and it's small and compact, and it has the focusing tab. It makes it very easy to focus. So I would call this like a 50 Summicron light because uh, it's a little smaller, a little lighter, and honestly, the IQ is a little different but just as good in its own way. So the 50 Sumerit, which is brand new from Leica for 2015, the new Sumerit line, uh, is going to be the least expensive new 50 in production. So say you get a Leica ME or a Leica M or you get a used one and you want one really good lens and you don't want to go to Zeiss, ZM or Voigtland or you want a Leica, the Leica Sumerit line is very attractive. So this is the 50. Next up, I will show you guys the 35, but let me put the 50 on the M uh, so you can see what it looks like on the camera. So here is the Sumerit. I'm using a 15 millimeter lens to shoot this video so things can get a little distorted when I bring it up close. But as you can see, this lens is pretty compact. Let me focus this up here. It's pretty compact on the uh, Leica M. You can see it's just like less than the size of my thumb lengthwise. Um, it's attractive on the MP Safari because it's silver. But if you take a look at it, it's small, beautiful hood, beautiful design, and there you go. So you can have a nice, uh, kind of sleek, semi-compact street shooting machine right here um, with the Sumerit. So let's take a look at the 35, and then the 75, and then the 90. I'll bring them all out at once so you can see them side by side. Okay, so here's all the lenses. Right here we have the 35. F24 Sumerit, which looks a lot like the 50. Um, let me verify, this is a 35, yes it is. So the 35 is about the same exact design, build, and everything as the 50. Very compact, very attractive. It looks very nice on the camera and off the camera. Feels and looks just like a Leica lens should with a nice solid aperture that clicks into place. With authority, it's not going to come loose mistakenly. You have a nice, smooth, smooth, short throw focus ring right here. So that's the 35. Then you have here, which looks really cool with all these uh, hoods that they're giving now. Um, this is the 75, and it appears the hood's on it. So you turn it around, and we'll screw the hood back on. There we go. So there it is with the hood. This is an amazingly compact 75 millimeter lens. Um, it's light, it's not heavy, but at the same time it feels really solid, which is what Leica is known for, nice solid uh, lenses that they make. If you take the hood off, you can see it's very compact. It's about the size of, say, a 50 Sumalux Aspherical, but you're getting a 75 millimeter. So that's the 75 F24, which is a um, alternative to the 75 Summicron, say, or the 75 Summilux, which is no longer in production. And over here we have the 90, the 90 Summerit, uh, which will give you a beautiful portrait length. And F2.4 is plenty good for portraits um, because if you get to the 90 f2 Summicron, which is a beautiful lens, shooting at f2 on a portrait can be tricky because you're going to get the nose in focus and maybe the eyes won't be or vice versa. So this is the 90 with the hood on. Feels more solid than the 75, a little more substantial. And I'm going to guess that this is going to be a beautiful portrait lens, so I can't wait to give it a try. So these are all your Sumerit lenses, and as you can see, there's the Leica MP240 Safari, all right here. But what's really cool is the old Sumerit line, they didn't come with the traditional Leica leather case. They came with a little felt pouch, and you had to buy the hoods extra. 
So Leica raised the prices on these. They improved the optics, or so they say. I haven't really tested them yet. They just came in. But we're also now getting the Leica leather case for the lens. And they're giving metal lens caps and metal lens hoods with each lens in the Sumerant line. So the prices have gone up on them, but they are fantastic lenses. They're still much cheaper than the equivalent Summicrons or Summilux lenses. So right here, if you don't need the crazy speed of an F1.4 or F2, the Sumerits have you covered. And you can get all four lenses probably for like 8,000 or so, uh, 8,500 or so, which is a lot of money, but you're getting all your bases covered from 35 to 90. And if those were all Sumiluxes, you'd be paying about $20,000. So you're saving a lot of money. It's like a, you know, what are you gonna do? But look how stunning the silver looks with this Safari set. The Safari set is one of the cameras that I would say go with silver lenses. It just looks really cool. So uh, thanks to Ken Hansen, uh, he's the one who sent me these for review. I'll have a full review of the Sumerit line in the next two weeks. And anyone considering the Safari MP set, to me, if you want an M right now today, and you don't, and if you want an MP, and you don't want to pay the eight thousand dollars, and then pay three thousand dollars for a thirty-five Sumicron, which um, I have right here, is the thirty-five Sumicron that comes with which is really hefty, beautiful lens, then buying the Safari set will save you $1,500 to $2,000 because you're getting the little extras with it as well. So it's actually a great buy. It's still crazy expensive because it's Leica, but that's how Leica is. So I highly recommend the Safari set to anyone who's interested. Mine came from popflash.com. Popflash.com sent me the Safari in a trade deal. This is mine. Ken Hansen sent me the lenses to try out. I'll review them and send them back to him. So uh, thanks for watching. This is Steve Huff at stevehuffphoto.com. And always check back to the site for news, reviews, daily inspirations, all kinds of new stuff. Every now and then a rumor and every now and then a prediction or so. But check back to stevehuffphoto.com because new things are posted.